Gross requires a plan. Clarity requires a plan. Spend some time making a plan and then execute against it. And I guarantee that at the end of this year, you'll be so glad that you did. Get it, team. So just fresh off a training call with our boardroom clients where we've gone through and fully mapped out all of our clients' business plans. We've mapped out their 90-day game plan and we've mapped out their right next thing to focus on. And it just got me thinking, like as we've wrapped up that session, you know, every single one of our boardroom clients has left today's training call clear on where they're going so they know what their bigger business plan is. They've got a chance, they've had a chance to tweak it, update it, upgrade it, work out, you know, what doesn't serve them, what does serve them, where they want to take their business, et cetera. They've gone big picture today and they narrowed it right down then into, you know, what are the one, two or three things that, you know, they really need to focus on in their business to meet that bigger picture plan and to move their business forward. And, you know, it sounds like I'm, I'm going to say it, growth requires a plan. And it's so simple and everyone's like, ah, duh. But like, it is so, so important that you have a plan. And, you know, we as business owners tend to get pushed and pulled in so many different directions and, you know, time is so important. And I talked a lot to our boardroom clients today about the power of priorities and working out what our priorities are in our business, working out what our big rocks are that are going to actually make the difference and move the business forward and spending time on that. And so when we have a plan, that's when we, was, that's when we, when we have that clarity on what we need to focus on and then we can pull the trigger and take action on the things that we need to. Whereas if we're just pushed and pulled by all the different things around us and we don't have a plan, we're just at the mercy of everyone else's priorities and everyone else's agenda. And, you know, we're not going to have that focused growth that comes from having a plan. And so my, the reason why I'm shooting today's video is I want you to come out really thinking about, well, what's your plan for this year? Like if you reflect on last year and all the things that you, all the things that worked and didn't work, um, have you taken stock of that? Have you worked out what you want to carry forward into 2024? And um, you know, the things that really work for you and your business that you want to keep doing. Have you had a think about the stuff that did not work for you last year and that you would never want to do again? And have you got a bit of a plan there to say, do not do these things in business again? Or are you going to keep making the same mistakes because you don't have a plan? So I think we've got a really powerful and important moment here. And like, I'm not big on new year's resolutions and I'm not big on new year, new me sort of stuff. Like I, I firmly believe that it doesn't matter where you are in the year. I think we all have the ability to, at any given moment, decide to be different, decide to do something new, decide that that pattern of behavior or the way that we're conducting ourselves in business with respect to that doesn't serve me and therefore I want to change that. Like I'm a firm believer that we don't have to wait till January of every year to get a new lease on life, that we have human beings and we are able to make decisions for ourselves and that we can decide at any given moment, whether it's March, September or December to be different. But there's always this kind of, you know, fresh kind of energy that comes with a new year. You've had a couple of weeks off, you're you've had a chance to kind of connect with family and work out what's important to you. Like I do believe there is power in the new year and setting intentions to be different. I want you to harness that power. I want you to use that power and use the, the reflective mood that you've been in, the reflective period that we've been in over the Christmas and January period to go, what's important to me? And then actually coming out and making a plan. Like I, I spent time with all of our clients in December, mapping out their plan for the new year. So they're good. Like they're, they're clear on what they're doing this year. They know what their game plan is. We updated it today. So they are super clear on what they're doing in their business this year. And we've just mapped out their, their, um, their game plan. So that they're they're good. They know what they're working on and they've got a game plan and it just, for them, it's about execution now, but to everyone else who's not in boardroom. I want to share this message, which is use that time, use this time now to create a plan. What's your, what's your growth plan? Where do you want to be at the end of this year in terms of revenue? How many clients do you want to have? What do you want your team to look like? Do you know your numbers? Like where are your, where are those clients coming from? Like you need to sit down and actually build a business plan.
because that's how you're going to, that's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to get the growth that you want this year is actually having a plan. So short and sweet for me today, it's a very simple message. It's a very obvious message, but you will be absolutely stunned and surprised by the amount of people that come out of Christmas into January. The first thing they do is open their emails and just start working away. There is no plan. There's no thought. There's no strategy. I don't want you to be a statistic this year. I don't want you to be one of those business owners. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, stop what you're doing. If you don't have a plan, sit down, spend an hour, spend half an hour, just map out a business plan so that you know what you're working on and so that you can actually take focused and clear action this year to move your business forward. So growth requires a plan. Clarity requires a plan. Spend some time making a plan and then execute against it. And I guarantee that at the end of this year, you'll be so glad that you did. So team, that's it for me today. Like I said, all our boardroom clients are good. They've got their game plan for 2024. They know what they're working on in January. For them, it's just execution. So if you'd like to keep building your business on your own, we have a ton of free resources for you to keep doing that. But if you'd like some help, if you'd like to join an amazing community of business owners all working together to grow and upgrade their businesses, I'd love to hear from you. Please reach out. Let's have a chat and see if Boardroom could be a good fit for you to help you build your business in 2024. Have an amazing rest of your day. Talk to you soon.